Hey, ga hey guys, and welcome about New York City. Some call it the least American city. No wonder 55 of households don't have a car here. It's the most popular city in the U.S. with a population of 8.8 .8 million and 20 million people living in the metro area. Let's learn more about New York. New York City is situated on a large natural harbor composed of five boroughs, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, and of course Manhattan two blocks down and take a right a block. Has a literal meaning here. All streets are perpendicular and form a grid. Only the southern tip of the island is knocked out of the clear geometry where the streets don't form a grid and broadway which runs diagonally across the island the commissioner's plan of 1811 was the original design for the streets of manhattan which put in place the rectangular grid plan pretty convenient the basic thing to remember is that avenues run north and south while streets run east and west everything is so compact and congested that you don't notice how you cover large distances every new intersection brings something new and exciting to better understand the city let's take a quick look at its history new york traces its origins to a trade and post that was founded on the history of new york southern tip of manhattan island by dutch colonists and they named it new amsterdam 40 years later in 1664 it came under english control and was renamed new york after king charles ii of england granted the lands to his brother the duke of york then comes independence war and the signing of a peace treaty british troops set sail for their homeland and in 1785 new york became the capital of the united states for five years years the city's turning into a large industrial and financial center manhattan is being developed further up north with giant bridges and the first skyscrapers the new york stock exchange is overtaking the london one over the course of the 19th century new york city's population grew from 60,000 to 3.4 million in 1886 the main symbol of new york was erected on a small island near manhattan the statue of liberty it was donated by france immigrants from all over europe are flocking here italians irish jews and russians new york became the largest city in the world by 1925 and 1952 it solidified its global geopolitical influence when the united nations headquarters were completed let's take a look at the five boroughs and let's start with manhattan 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 island is divided into lower manhattan midtown manhattan and uptown regions times square is the main tourist destination in midtown manhattan led by its numerous billboards it got its name in 1904 when the new york times moved its headquarters to the then newly erected times building now called one times square times square billboard today runs from five thousand dollars to fifty thousand times square dollars a day this place is always super crowded day and night but honestly it's much more impressive at night it's just fun sitting there and watching the people and all the ads running around if you like large crowds and street performances you're gonna enjoy it it lives up to its name the city that never sleeps oh by the way see those ads uh that's illegal the nypd continues to crack down on legal dirt bikes and ads having seized five 565 of them in the last three months but we'll talk about crime in new york later in this video now let's relocate a central park it's the most famous city park in the world central park it's a nice place to find some peace and serenity during the day it is entirely man-made and it has several artificial ponds two ice rinks and even a zoo yes that same zoo from which animals escape in the movie madagascar we are in the heart of new york city we're in central park guys and this is the most visited urban park in the united states 42 million visitors visitors a year on top of that it's the most popular location for filming movies and that's why i'm filming my video here central park has everything street musicians sports grounds horse-drawn carriages and even such unique historic monuments which you don't expect to find here like the obelisk also known as cleopatra's needle that was brought from egypt and it's roughly 3,500 years old there is a wide variety of landscapes too from metals and woodlands to lawns and there's always someone practicing yoga meditating or just reading books we walk across the park from south to north and exited at the northern side and this is where harlem begins an area with a rather dubious reputation i know i know people had been telling me it's fine it's been gentrified it's safe in fact the word gentrified is the most common word that i heard throughout my road trip in the us there is no denying harlem has improved so you understand this is what it looked like in the 70s and 80s but even today residents of east harlem perceive crime as the biggest single concern there are still many gangs in harlem today on a positive note harlem has been known for its jazz club soul food nightlife scene and african-american 
American heritage. 125th Street is considered to be the main street of Harlem and is home to the Apollo Theater and noted venue for African American performers where Stevie Wonder, Billie Holiday, Diana Ross, another big name, started their careers. In West Harlem, you will find the magnificent Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine on Amsterdam Avenue as well as colleges and universities including Columbia University, one of the most prestigious ones in the U.S. Okay, back to Central Park, there is something for everyone here whether you're just going for a casual walk picnicking or jogging there's no denying new yorkers love their park and squirrels do too what's it like living in new york these days central park interviews i think i think new york's a great place to live it's in some ways sometimes maybe this sounds a little arrogant but you feel like you're in the middle of the world or the center of the of the world culturally business diversity there's a lot to explore bad things about living in new york it's kind of a hassle it's very crowded it's expensive you deal with yeah it's dirty and and things like that but at the end of the day i think it's worth it and it's a nice place to live like many people we uh we moved to new york to for our careers to try to get ahead in life that's why a lot of people come here i work in finance and she works in texas oh cool and so that's that's two of the big industries here we live in a fairly small apartment one bathroom fifth floor walk up and we pay about twenty five hundred dollars a month okay that i think is considered pretty inexpensive for for new york and i imagine you don't have a car don't have a car but i want a car i want a car yeah i like cars a lot but it's it's really hard to justify the expense i appreciate it guys hey anytime we're in central park new york city and uh, are you a local uh, i wasn't born here but i lived a lot of years here i'm working as a photographer actually name three things you'll love about living in new york city well the whole world lives here so that's number one uh when you can't travel you're in new york and you're meeting people from around the world like the two of you that's number one a uh, number two is uh it's part of the harbor it's part of the ecosystem here it's the estuary you know on good days you walk out or bike out to the hudson river and you smell the ocean that's right and the third is a you know it's a cultural capital of the western world so fifth avenue the big apple's most famous street is the fifth avenue it crosses manhattan from north to south and it's one of the most expensive streets in the world so many interesting things here world's famous apple store trump tower with blm mural in front of it flat iron building saint patrick's cathedral a gorgeous catholic cathedral that was built in 1878 empire state building and so much more a section of fifth avenue running from 34th to the 60th street is a concentration of boutique shops and expensive high-end stores this is where Audrey Hepburn freezes on the sidewalk and stares at the jewelry store window and breakfast at Tiffany's. Wall Street. Now let's relocate to Lower Manhattan. This is the center of the financial universe known as Wall Street. Bankers and stock traders rush to their offices early in the morning. The city security industry represents over 163,000 jobs with an average salary of $422,000 a year. Impressive. This is where you find headquarters of J.P. Morgan Chase Citigroup and other financial giants. New York Stock Exchange and the Nasdaq the world's largest stock exchanges are both located here this is a famous new York Stock Exchange if you happen to own some American stock this is where they're trading I got some stock so I want to figure out what's going on on Wall Street you will find Trinity Church and Federal Hall this is where in 1789 George Washington was officially proclaimed the first president of the United States if you're bullish on the stocks take a picture with the famous charge and bull a bronze sculpture which symbolizes the bullish market financial optimism and prosperity nearby another statue fearless girl promote and female empowerment to get great views of the lower manhattan just take a ferry the lot of locals use it every day it's very affordable and enjoyable if you're looking for some awesome views of the city you might want to check out the best observatories first the empire best observatories of nyc state building it's a 102 story art deck of skyscraper which provides stunning panoramic views it was the tallest building in the world from 1931 until 1970 from here you can see the chrysler building considered by many to be one of new york's finest next top of the rock observatory on top of the rockefeller center built by the rockefellers in the 1930s it has an ocean liner style design and offers a 360 degree view of the entire manhattan third the highest observation point one world trade center the tallest skyscraper in new york and all of the u.s completely enclosed and with a 360 degree view one of the new additions is the edge located at the hudson yards that has an observation deck with a glass 
floor sadly we didn't get a chance to visit because it was too foggy on that day also at the hudson yards you can visit the vessel it's a 16 story structure of connected staircases very cool shape and it reminds me of a beehive another great idea to get great views is to take a funicular ride to a roosevelt island this small island is in the middle of the east river between the shores of manhattan and queens today is just another residential part of the city this is queensboro bridge and we are in roosevelt island and to get here you can take a cable car which is part of the public transportation system of new york city and the fare is the same as it is for the subway 275 so interesting fact during the british colonial rule this whole island belonged to one family the blackwells and it was called blackwell island but today is just another residential neighborhood but the most exciting thing for me was to take a helicopter ride if you wonder how much it cost it was 300 for 30 minutes and what's cool about it is that helicopter had no doors if you can afford it go for it first i thought the ride would be shaky and all but it turned out to be very smooth like i was sitting in the car on top of that the city has over 50 rooftop bars popular for romantic dates and celebrations new york city is the third city in the world with the most amount of skyscrapers after shenzhen and hong kong and rooftop bars are really popular here so you basically get an observation deck and the bar all in one package let's take a look at some other parts of manhattan greenwich village greenwich village or just the village it's an upscale area that was once the center of bohemian culture in various political movements artists and writers rainbow flags attest to the neighborhood's lgbt friendly vibe at its heart is washington square park musicians skateboarders dog owners chess players and nyu students all hang out